Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? Today's video is gonna be about the TubeTech Blue Tone. Basically, this is like a all-in-one plugin. It's based off of the TubeTech Poltec and the TubeTech SMC. And when I saw this uh, plugin come out, I was kind of curious on how and where people would use this. It's only compression and EQ. I messed around with it a little bit to see like and what places this would work. It seems like this plugin is definitely geared towards uh, people that don't understand or just have a full grasp on um, EQ and compression yet. So usually with these kind of things, I kind of just like always skip over it. I already have everything that I need to do what these all-in-one plugins will do. Now don't get me wrong, some of these are great because these all-in-one plugins can sometimes remove a lot of plugins from your template, which could be a good thing. The first thing that came to my head was like, this would probably be cool for somebody who's a seasoned mixer, maybe to play around on your buses. There are a couple of bus options already, so you can see that they've already thought that through. And obviously you can see there's a little bit, you know, mostly uh, individual elements that they provide you with. So yeah, I was just like, all right, well, let me see what this would sound like. And the way my template works is that everything eventually comes down to a group of buses. If you want to see more detail on why and how I use these buses, you can check out my other videos or maybe they'll pop up on the screen somewhere. Anyways, yeah, I can see these being used on buses and maybe the master. I don't know about the master yet. I'm still a little iffy on it. And obviously these are, you know, things that you need to tweak. These aren't like set it and forget it options or presets. They're just starting points with like with anything else. 50% on the amount knob is about the sweet spot for this plugin. So I went ahead and, um, went through every plugin and made sure to set everything to 50%. Just because, you know, theoretically you, you're getting an even amount of processing and an even amount of no processing basically. But yeah, just a quick rundown, your amount knob, basically the amount of processing from the plugin overall that will be added to the signal. These are your options for the elements that you can use this on or that they think should be used on. Obviously, use it on whatever you want. The big thing about what option you choose will affect the EQ points on the low and high band. So every option will have a different EQ point for the low and high. So, you know, if you select keys, it'll be slightly different than the bass instrument. The drum will be different than the mix bus option. And then you have a dry wet knob and then you have a gain knob. I set the gain to negative four on all the plugins. It seems like that was the sweet spot for the amount of gain that this plugin introduces. Um, I also just, you know, left on all my processing. This is a song that's already out by Carter Thomas. It's called Collide. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. I just figured this would be like a good example of maybe like, oh, I feel like the mix is done, but it needs a little bit more sweetening. So maybe I can use something like this. So that was kind of like the idea of why I chose this song and why I decided to leave all the processing on basically. But yeah, let's play the song. Uh, I think I have just the chorus loop. You can call me whenever Me and you together forever So yeah, that's pretty much the final mix. So I'm gonna loop it again, and then halfway through the chorus, I'll bring in all the plugins, and you can hear the difference that it's making. I and mean, like I said, these are just the presets. This is just straight like out of the box preset. So let's just see what happens. You can call me whenever. Me and you together forever. Wanna be more than a lover, more than a lover, more than a lover. You can call me whenever. So yeah, you can hear the huge difference that it makes. I mean, it makes my mix sound really dark, but you know, like I said, this was me not adjusting anything on it besides setting the amount to what they think is the sweet spot for this plugin. Obviously, I would probably go in and adjust a little bit of the high end on this, but you know, they hype in it a little bit, you know, just to make it a little bit more interesting, just to sound like it's making a huge difference, which makes sense to get, you know, they're trying to sell a product and they're trying to sell a plugin and stuff. But personally, I would just go in and adjust the high end and a little bit of the low end. It just seems like there's been like kind of like a mid range thing added and definitely some stuff on the high end for sure, specifically on the vocals. Um, Let's see, cause I'll, let me play it with it and then I'll just mute it on the vocals. You can call me whenever, me and you together forever. So 
So yeah, definitely even switching between the vocal focus and the clarity, there definitely is some top end being added. It sounds like a little bit airy side than it is more on like brittle, harsh, I guess. That's how I like to think of stuff when it's like in that 10K to 12K range. It's kind of like almost brittle, not in a bad way. It's just like you can hear that this thing is definitely like a quick result plugin, which makes sense. That's what these uh, all-in-one plugins are supposed to do. And that's what um, the idea is behind these. But I feel like if you're a seasoned mixer or engineer or producer, um, you know, you can use this in a different way, maybe using this as a drum parallel or a vocal parallel or something. You know what I mean? Like just putting this on a parallel bus or just putting it directly on there because you do have a, you know, a mix uh, knob on it. And you could just do some parallel stuff with, I could see this being used for that, especially like if you just went through and did like some of the wide settings, which I believe is like more of like a mid side settings for these two. Um, you could definitely use that to your advantage and kind of blend this into your signal. Like I said, specifically, maybe vocals or something a little bit more important that you kind of want to stand out a little bit more. It's definitely like a little heavy handed on the mix bus for sure. Like obviously they're, you know, they're not going to know what people's settings are or anything. So it makes sense. Um, but like I said, I would probably just go in and, you know, fine tune all these, but I could definitely see this being used by pros, not saying that anybody wouldn't or shouldn't, or that's not what these are geared towards. But, you know, I know sometimes these kind of plugins aren't as of interest to, uh, seasoned people in the industry, but I could definitely see this one for sure. Just being like, I always say like a tone box in a way, and you can kind of manipulate this to work in your favor and work in the way that you like to mix or record. But yeah, you know, just a quick little video on this. I'm not really gonna go through. There's other videos out on YouTube right now that are going to super detail on what these sound like individually on each element. Um, but you know, you can go watch those. I just wanted to kind of show this in a more maybe advanced uh, mixing thing that you would use probably. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, please watch my other videos. If you're new here, please subscribe and yeah, just check out my other content and I'll see you next week for a new video. Peace.